hi guys welcome and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for stopping by today today is actually november the 25th i'm running a little behind on posting and actually actually also recording but regardless i hope everybody had a great uh thanksgiving if you do celebrate or if you don't still have a wonderful uh week anyways let's get started we're gonna be checking in from friday the 17th till the 23rd okay so on Friday the 17th, that was actually a no spend day for me. So that was good. And then on the 18th, I did have Delia's tamales for lunch with my son. And that was $45 from our dining out money. Okay. That's $45 right there on Saturday. That day we also did a lot of work outside and putting up my Halloween stuff and putting it back in boxes and everything. So after that, I did treat my my kids to Jack in the Box and that was $38. So that was not bad for my two kids and my granddaughter and my daughter-in-law. Okay. And that was it for Saturday. On Sunday, I woke up early and I wanted some barbacoa. So I got barbacoa for us and carnitas, and that was $33. And that also came out of my dining out. Okay. And I did win an Etsy gift card from Ms. Uh, Donna Jo. So thank you, Donna. And I bought some stuff from Etsy from Star Budget. So hopefully I received that here in the next couple of weeks but i did have to pay five dollars because it did go over guys <laughs> so hopefully that stuff is going to be good for uh, next year so i spent a total about 55 dollars 50 dollars from my giveaway that i won and then i paid five dollars extra from etsy okay and that was it for sunday on monday i did pay my t-mobile so that was good and i got chick-fil-a um for myself during lunch and my son and that was $27 okay and that came out of my spending and uh, I started actually I went to the grocery store and bought the stuff for Thanksgiving my sister was actually feeling better so we decided to go to the store and buy the stuff so i spent 273 dollars but that was also including some of the house items so a total of 173 for um i mean a total of 273 for both thanksgiving and then um house items as well i didn't split that one so i don't know how much was groceries and how much was thanksgiving it was just a lump sum okay so that was good and then on uh, Tuesday, I did pay my Best Buy, and that day was actually a no spend day since I spent a lot <laughs> for food for Thanksgiving. And um, so that was, I mean, still good. Hopefully, everybody had a great Thanksgiving. I know we did. Uh, we spent some time at home and started cooking, and uh, it was fun. So on the 21st was a no spend day. On the 22nd was also a no spend day. So I had three no spend days which is awesome and then of course like every other year on thursday we did go buy some tacos in the morning from taco valente uh i fed it was for the whole family so that was 20 dollars for breakfast so that was good and while we were cooking of course we found out we forgot our turkey bag so my son um and some um what is it bombones i don't know how you say it it's bad in english uh i don't know bombones i, I can't remember but i spent seven dollars there for some bomb bombs oh there you go some bomb bombs and also the turkey bag that's good on the 23rd so that's it i do have some rollover money so let's go into my excel spreadsheet so we can see how we did for the week Okay, guys, if you see my last check-in, you know that I did have some rollovers, $50 for groceries, $20 for household, and $30 for gas. So from $310, um, my new budget was $410. So from there, we're going to go into lunch. I spent $50 for lunch. Dining out, I, I spent $116. And groceries, I spent $180. And then for miscellaneous, I spent $5. 
So I have a total of $54 remaining to roll over. So not bad, guys. That's it. That's all I have for today. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.